Hi, I'm at a town called Muramatsuhama on the west coast of Japan, just north of Niigata town. And I'm just here checking out the beach. But what I wanted to show you was these wind power turbines, these wind turbines along the beach line. You can see there's some industrial stuff. Boy, it's really hard to see in the screen. I don't know if you can see down here there's some uh, big storage tanks and some smokestacks. Niigata is a good example of a of a prefecture that's trying to transition away from fossil fuel energy, away from nuclear power, and to more sustainable forms of energy. One of the big challenges of wind power is that if there's not any wind, then it's really hard to get any power off of it. Yesterday was a blower and it would have been a great day for wind generation, but today's not so good. One more thing that, boy, if you really look, you can see just right out here, there's an offshore drilling rig there. Niigata is one of the few places in Japan that has a domestic uh, oil and natural gas uh, field. There's, there's, some up in, there's one up in Hokkaido, there's another one just north of uh, us as well, but Niigata has, Niigata has several different uh, natural gas fields and some limited oil reserves as well. Japan, of course, doesn't have a ton of fossil fuel resources, so it's looking more and more toward uh, renewables like solar and uh, wind power. But one of the challenges is figuring out how to get a steady supply of those power sources. Of course, it's easier to uh, just complain about it and not do anything than it is to actually build the infrastructure. So in the case of Japan's power companies, I think there's a really good evidence that they're working hard to come up with alternatives that can at least substitute for some of the lost nuclear that they've had since they've idled a lot of their plants and uh, increasingly become more sustainable. One of the features of wind power is that if the wind is blowing, it's usually not such good solar generation, but if the, uh, if the sun is shining and it's clear, then you can get good solar even if the wind's not going. So solar and uh, wind aren't perfect complements like that, but they can, they can end up evening themselves out a little bit. Of course, the worst thing you can have is really dark, cloudy days that don't have any wind. Like, like today is not such a great day for solar and wind combined.